Greetings, founders. Welcome to Fill the Boot, the science of startups. I'm your host, Lance Cottrell, and I'm here to help you navigate the nearly vertical learning curve you're going to encounter as you launch your business. I know I've been there myself, and I've helped countless other founders through this process. Now today, I want to talk about the trouble with tribbles. Actually, I want to talk about the trouble with titles. The titles that you give to early hires or co-founders in your business can come back to bite you later on, unless you're careful. I rarely see titles discussed when people are giving online advice about startups. But it's a topic that comes up surprisingly often when I'm doing my coaching, and I thought it would be good to address it today. Now, the one title that you really have to have is CEO. There needs to be a CEO in your startup, someone who is the face and authoritative voice of the business to everyone else, whether it be partners, customers, employees, and most often investors. They want to know there's a person who they can talk to who's representing the company. Beyond that, titles become pretty arbitrary and early on really unnecessary. But still, it seems to be a habit for a lot of companies to want to hand out big juicy titles. And so right from the get-go, they have a CTO, a CMO, a CFO, right? All of these chief something officer title. So every one of the founders or each one of the new hires very early on gets one of these juicy titles. The reality is there's really no harm in that at first. The giving someone a big title doesn't do any immediate damage to the company. The problem really comes later. And it's because in most cases, the people that you're hiring really aren't a fit for that title in a real company when you've got a lot of employees and they're now not just individual contributors, they're running a whole team. So you've brought in, say, Sarah, the developer, and she's a pretty good coder and she's gonna be building your application. And you say, all right, I'm gonna make her the CTO. And then you've got another friend who understands Google AdWords pretty well and that's how you're gonna be doing your marketing. So you make Joe the chief marketing officer. And now you've got a CTO and a CMO and they go on your deck and that's all great. And then a year or two later, they're starting to run large teams and it turns out that Sarah actually isn't a good manager and doesn't have a lot of strategic understanding about how to build products and how to run her organization and she's starting to flail. Or Joe, he knew AdWords, but he really isn't a marketer. He doesn't know how to write copy, he doesn't know how to build campaigns, he doesn't know really how to measure the right sorts of things. And that's gonna be a problem. So you now need to hire a new CTO and a new CMO. The problem here is that means demoting Sarah and Joe. They were CTO, CMO. Now they're, what, directors, uh, senior developer, uh, something like that. This is emotionally bruising to them. It's a huge blow to the ego to be demoted from that one title to another. Right? Everyone's going to know it. It's going to change on the website. and. They may quit over it. That's certainly going to be a very difficult conversation to have. So my recommendation is if you can, just avoid titles altogether. Apart from the CEO, you do have to have a CEO. But beyond that, you can say, this is Sarah. She's heading up development on our app or she's in charge of the app development for us. Maybe even she's in charge of engineering. Joe here. He's managing our marketing efforts or he's heading up our marketing initiatives. You don't need a title to say these are the people on the team and these are the roles that each one of them are engaged in. And then in a couple of years, when you do need to hire in that real marketing officer, that real CTO, your friend now, because you've been working with them for a while, doesn't need to change their titles. They don't get a demotion. They get someone slotted in above them. And that is far less jarring. I've seen that work pretty well numerous times because let's face it, many of the people that are coming on early on are not good fits for those roles in a real company. And hopefully your company is gonna be very real very soon. If you absolutely need to give people titles, try going for things that are somewhat more 
generic. So senior developer, lead developer, uh, director of marketing. These are terms that could apply to someone who is the lead developer and heads up that entire team, but it could also be a title that's given to someone maybe a couple of steps down in the hierarchy. And so as things continue to evolve, they can hold on to that title pretty comfortably without having to get shifted out. Now, hopefully the people you hire early on are either in fact qualified for those jobs or can grow into those jobs much as the CEO often has to, right? Lots of people are learning at a great pace and if you can bring in, say, even advisors or outside coaches to help the other people in your company become capable of supporting those titles, that's the best outcome possible. But very often, you are gonna to have to bring in someone above them and anything you can do to make that process a little less jarring and a little more comfortable for them is gonna be really good for you later on. Thanks for watching this episode. I hope you found it useful and interesting. As of this recording, we have over 60 other episodes of advice and information for early stage founders. You can get it all as videos on this YouTube channel, Feel the Boot. You can get article versions at feeltheboot.com, or you can get it as a podcast at ftb.bz slash podcast. I'll put all the links down in the description. If you go to Feel the Boot and sign up for a mailing list, you can get free one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. With each newsletter, I send out a link where you can jump on my calendar and ask me anything. I'm happy to help in all aspects of your startup. Till next time, ciao.